should revolve around Texas. I, should I, it though? I believe it it's does. The way, it's the way things are, ought to be. Yeah. But is that was that what like the mindset of the people here is? I don't <laughs> think it does. I don't think it is. The sun talent, talent. He's talking bad about he's, around Texas. I see it happen every day, David. Talent, David's talking bad about Texas. You might want to send him out to not to not Texas. Well, no, I'm talking no, like it's he, that's more of a California thing. If we're doing that, he's 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 from Oklahoma. We don't put much stock in what he. Yeah, he has I literally I should have never said anything. I was born in Oklahoma for like <laughs> I lived there for a year <laughs> as a baby. And then I moved here, and been, I'm 20 years old. I've been living in Texas for 19. <clears throat> but you're not from Texas. Yeah, I'm not from Texas. <laughs> Dude, te- Texas is definitely a different mentality than I think anywhere else in the States. I think Texas, Alaska, and California all have completely different uh, views than the rest of the world country. And, and it's so funny how, like, none of the other ones are correct. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh-huh. So, Art, you're, you. so Art, what happened to your mom's evil with the storm? Well, during the summer, it got blown away. Like, and away? Like, Mary Poppins away? Or just, like, over? No, no, it got knocked down, like, Oh, because when you say away, I, apart. I, I work with a guy that, lived, that lives in Piatone, where they get, like, tornadoes still, mm-hmm. and they had a, a storm a couple years ago that was so bad that the aluminum deck for his pool left the pool and blew across the street into the neighbor's front yard. No, it was getting close to that, though. So, um... Yeah, but it, like, tore up all the metal, so my dad tried fixing it Mexican-style as best he could. Uh, that no, no, that was the third attempt. Um, no, he actually, like, did a really decent job. Wait, they, might not, uh, they might not understand Mexico-style. Um, ghetto rigged. Yeah, no, ghetto rig was what we did today, and it didn't last because of the wind again. <laughs> oh, it's worse. So, no, it, gotcha. it just, it, it was totally, like, on its last legs, and we knew if it got fucked up again, it wouldn't, it, we wouldn't be able to do jack shit with it. But he still tried anyway. Like we duct tape <laughs> for certain parts, and I'm oh. like, and oh, I'm, and, and I should—I wasn't even. You—you you were right on when you said duct tape. I'm like, yeah, yeah, we duct tape that, and um, <laughs> and, it, and they wake me up for this early, and early for me is like ten. So, uh, I get out there. He's like, he's like, we gotta fix him. Like, it's not gonna work. Sure enough. Wait, wait early's ten for you? Wow. What's early's it, what's, what's it like not being an adult yet? Whatever, bitch. I worked later, remember? So anyway, so yeah, it got blown away again, so it's on the side right now. And uh, yeah, other than that, um, Margaret's car got broken into and my shit got stolen. Wait, what? So, yeah. I lost my school bag with a book. Uh, I lost my company laptop with printer. (laughs) And my PSP was stolen, too. Oh, Oh, man. Where did it get broken into? Uh, The, her Nissan. No, no, where? Oh, by her house. By her mom's house. Uh, welcome to episode three of From Gamers With Love. Yay! The Skype episode. The Skype. The oh, yeah. That is our Skype episode. <laughs> it's tradition on our podcasting that we always have to have at least one episode where almost everyone Skypes in. I, thought about, Skype, weather, I thought about okay. Skyping myself in. Yeah. Like, just have two laptops side by side. He's, he's, call on, myself. His, he's on his cell phone Skype. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think oh, that's what... No. I think it's with Dave. Are you on your cell phone, Skype? Or are you on no, your laptop? I'm on. I'm on my laptop. Okay. Um. <laughs> Whatever. Wow. Brought right. by Old Spice. <laughs> brought, brought to you in part by Old Spice. And viewer really. and, and listeners like you. Uh, <laughs> so, so uh, we were just saying, talking before we started about how we have a cover photo for Facebook, and it's from XCOM, and uh. Was it Art that asked if I was if we were going to get the the new one, the add-on? Oh yeah, it's it, well, it's an add-on if you're if it's on computer, but it's an actual disc, like a brand new fucking game, basically for uh, like any of the consoles. It's like a it's like a full game. I mean, yeah, even for the computer, it's like it. a full game. Yeah. Uh, it's only thirty bucks for PC. I don't know what it is for Xbox. Is it out already? And, yeah, I can get it right uh, now. Oh, I'm tempted. I can get it from what Steam right it's now. It's like full game. Like it's long enough to be like a full game. Like if you have a PC, the PC version of XCOM, it adds, it installs like as an add-on, but there's enough content in it in it where it it feel, it looks like it's going to be the length of a full game or at least almost. How's that? Like what is it? What's in it? Well, you find out that there is a group of people in a in, on the world on the planet that are Earthlings that are against. Humanity. I guess. Oh, yeah, no. I guess. Kind of. They're like against you, and they're against everything else, and they're. I think they. They don't. They don't show a whole lot about the plot, but I'm assuming they kind of like. 
team up with the aliens, but they infiltrate the XCOM team too. So you're trying to find out who this group is and all that. So it's called Enemy Within. Hmm. So there are still aliens, and there is this other fringe group. So, but it looked pretty good. You know, I love how I'm the token minority in our fucking page. You're the token minority on the web, on the podcast. I know, but it's just I, you know you you don't realize it till you actually see it on paper or something or like on screens. Like, oh wow, I'm the only brown guy there. Huh, interesting. Yeah, yeah, you are. Yeah. Doesn't doesn't yeah. Dave's character on that almost look like the dude from what was it? Uh, was it Borderlands or was it from? Uh... <laughs> did you give him the nickname Wildcard? Yes. Yes, he did. <laughs> I so did. I, I, I started cracking up when I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> like I, th- I think Talons was assigned by by the computer, and Art, what, what, what's yours have on there? Yours dice. Was, it just says dice. Yours was assigned by the computer too, and I was kind of like, well, Art likes gambling. That's really not a bad, uh, not a bad call. Yeah, uh, should just called me Ace. <laughs> yeah, but Ace. V- Viva Las Vegas is your theme song. That is true. Viva. No, that's my gonna be my new ringtone. <laughs> <laughs> Talon got, like, all upset. He's like, where is there two captains? Who got upset? Talon didn't like that there was two captains. Talon's just jealous because I'm a captain, too. The white man trying to bring the Mexican me, down. Me and Dave got, me and Dave got, the, like, got the shit beat out of us the first mission and we were gone for, like, three. <laughs> I'm like, damn it! And we step on a landmine together, holding hands. <laughs> <laughs> Together, buddy. Like in the what was it, Aliens Two movie? Aliens, oh, yeah. Grenade together in the in the fucking shed. Like, let's do it, man. Oh, the chicken. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, was she really a chick? For the Mar- for the Marines, yeah. Yeah, I know she was. <laughs> Bill Hicks is Bill Paxton. Bill Paxton. Bill Paxton is the actor that played him. Yeah. Hicks. No. No, Hicks wasn't Hicks? played by Paxton. Hicks was played by the other guy. Right. Because Paxton makes it to the ship. And then he gets, actually gets out. Yeah, and then crashes mercilessly or mercilessly to a planet that the prison planet that that movie was horrible. Alien Three, what a shit home movie. What? Alien Three. Yeah. Um, it was like it's, they got like different directors. I, now Alien Three kind of felt like a Jason movie, honestly, like a Friday the Thirteenth movie it, with it, aliens. It was just bad. They, they tried what they they didn't get this. They didn't get the same budget, so they tried to do the whole first. Thing again, except they gave it with like a Friday the Thirteenth, Nightmare on Elm Street did, kind did, of twist. Yeah, but did you need to kill the little girl, and did you need to kill Bill Paxson? I don't think they had enough money to bring them back. The <laughs> little, the little girl. I'm pretty sure you could afford that. No, dude, no. Yeah, no. How much for the little girl? It would, it would, it would have been weird because they wouldn't have had the little same little girl. It'd be a completely different girl. You know what? As bad as that movie was, I don't think anyone would have cared. No, but they knew. Would you say that that movie was? Part. Would, would you say that that movie was as bad as the Aliens video game that we played? Oh my god, that game was so fucking bad. Yeah. Which, which you know Aliens what? video game? I think game? I'd rather watch the movie than play the game. Wait, which game? The Aliens the Colony, Colonial, Colonial Marines? That movie, that, that game. Mm-hmm. Well, I still like am reminded of just how bad that was. Because it was, it was like we were fighting aliens, and they were kind of glitchy, but they were still aliens, and then all of a sudden it was like Call of Duty, and then... Bad guys came out of nowhere and they started shooting at us. And power up started. Dro- power up started dropping out of the sky. Yeah. And then not only that, but like the fact that we're boarding this this abandoned installation, right? And we don't know what's going on. No, it's not and, the ba- no, 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 no. It's not an abandoned installation. It's the ship from. No, aliens. it was the ship itself. Yeah. It was the ship from aliens. You mean the ship? Yes. That, the ship that crashed. No, it, they. Wait, are you talking about everything. the ship from the first movie? The ship from regardless, the second movie. Regardless of what it was, we were still boarding an abandoned thing, and you know we didn't know what happened, and we lost communication with it. And we get on board, and then a monster jumps out from the shadows, and one of our guys goes, "Oh, it's a stalker! Shoot it!" <laughs> How did he know it was a stalker? Exactly. Is what you're exactly. Because and then, in the, immediately it, after we killed it, we, and there's a cutscene where we're all like, "What was that?" I don't know. Oh, ask him. He seems to know. <laughs> oh, and you want you want a, sto- a spoiler? Of course I do, James. James. Sorry. Think Who the fuck is James? 
Are you? Who, did you said, start? A, did you, friends, did you start another? Me? Did you start another podcast Maybe. without telling us? No, we can replace. Fine. We can replace you with Lauren. Whoa. <laughs> And and I'm not gonna lie, being able to say we have a, a woman on the on the show who's not hideous looking, probably get us a few extra views, and listens. Possibly. Yeah, you're not the best looking woman, Art. <laughs> uh, you gotta put some makeup on me. Some. Some. Why, to, to make you, to make you an cake, attractive woman. <laughs> get, get get me caked on makeup. So. What was it on yeah, the Simpsons? Yeah. Homer made the the makeup gun, and he shoots. Uh, it was a shotgun, and he shoots Marge in the face. And she goes, "Homer, you had it set the whore." <laughs> <laughs> uh, the um, the okay, so the spoiler for a- the aliens called Marines is that Hicks never died. Like they, you know how they had him dead in the third movie. Well, supposedly they didn't believe in the third movie, so they decided. You know <laughs> Retcon everything. Neither do I. <laughs> and so nothing ever happened to the ship, and it turned out Hicks was alive the whole time. Interesting. See, that doesn't bother me at all. Because I would like. I've tried watching that movie like five times. I would like to retcon myself from it. The it fourth, wasn't the fourth, the fourth one it wasn't I liked. That bad. The fourth one I liked a lot, actually. Which one was the fourth one again? I'm with trying to with Winona one. Ryder. Oh, okay, I, hate, yeah, I like I that. I hated one. Resurrection. Really? Oh, I like Resurrection. Wow, Resurrection, the I thought old, it was good. My favorite part of that movie was Ron Perlman, though. Yeah, he was in that. That was cool. I liked the alien getting sucked out of the window. That was kind of kick ass at the end. Yeah. But no, I, I liked that movie better than the third one by a lot. Because I don't. You know, okay, the first one, you're on the spaceship. They're exploring the the, war, the universe. That It's got some high tech stuff. Okay, cool. The alien gets free on the. Yeah, I, awesome. I Aliens, it. it's like badass machine guns and this planet and this, you know, this great. Fun. And the, then this one, it's like, yeah, we have like a we have like an aerosol can and a lighter. Are we good? All right, cool. And we it. got the guy, and we got the guy that's been on the TV show Rock on Fox for like five years. Yeah, he's like the poor man's like you know any other black actor. <laughs> so yeah, so yeah, I, I preferred Resurrection. <laughs> Plus, Winona Ryder's kind of hot. Kinda. <laughs> Yeah, she's she's pretty hot. Pretty. <laughs> uh, so what else is going on? Anybody get a, anyone else get their, a PS4? Oh, uh, dude, I'm playing it right now. No, you're not. No, I'm not. I would have fucking told you like right away. Did you get a PS4? I did not. Oh, I just I just you want to know something? I just came back from playing one. I went over to my friend Austin's house and he uh, invited me over to play play it for a bit, and it was um, it's pretty impressive. Yeah, I mean it it, it, it. it should be. I mean the old, the systems it's replacing are you know seven years old now. The graphics, the graphics aren't like extreme. It's not like a big giant leap like like the other consoles kind of were. Yeah, but you know, give it a couple of generations of games and it'll. Oh, it'll probably be like freaking. The, it'll the, look like yeah. Avatar. The next generation is like next oh, generation of games. Well, yeah, no. The next generation of games that come out for it will probably be. It's like when the Dreamcast was coming to its end, and the PlayStation Two just came out. The Dreamcast games at that point were like fourth or fifth generation and looked better than the first and second, you know, sets of the PlayStation 2 ones. Oh, no, there were uh, still some pretty awful ones towards its later end. I, I also think... Well, yeah, there were, some, there, were some, of, there were some awful ones. I'm talking way, about PlayStation. I'm talking about... Oh, PlayStation 2. I think that there's going to be some diminishing returns when it comes to graphical output of uh, our machines in the future. Well, TVs can only handle so much resolution. Well, not only that, but, like, yeah. the, the the fact that, you know... Well, it's all going to come down to, like, doing things like shading and anti-aliasing yes, and stuff like that. That's where it's going to... The, the extremely impressive thing of the console is how many things they can fit on the, the screen yeah, because, and I mean, how many people can be on a multiplayer server and I, all that. Yeah, and, because quite honestly, you know, there was all this arguing back and forth on the, the Internet lately of, wow... Can the Xbox One play games in full 1080p? Well, if not, it doesn't fucking matter. Your resolution only matters if you have, like, if you're going above 60 inches on your TV. What really matters is you could have a 720p game and a 1080p game, and if the 720 game is done better with better shading, better, you know, texturing and stuff, it's going to look better. It's not going it, to, it's still going to look better even at a lower resolution. It's, it's more. It's more than just a resolution. Is I guess what I'm saying. You know, it's it's the whole thing. What game uh, were you playing? Yeah, what were you playing? Um, I was playing. I got to play Knack, and I got to play uh, Battlefield Four. Ooh, how was the Battlefield Four? 
I like. I didn't get to play that much. I only got to play like a round of um, team deathmatch because uh -huh. the because I guess everyone and their dog is playing Battlefield Four right now on the PS4. Ghost so, isn't out yet, right? So no, that won't be out. Well, I don't think it'll even matter when it comes out. Why? Have you heard? Have you heard? It just didn't, how, it, didn't, it didn't even do. It didn't even do. It didn't even do. All right. I heard that like there isn't much they can do with it anymore, like with the whole fucking game itself. They couldn't even do with the multi rumor. They were like trying to. Uh, what are you talking? Tell about? everyone. No, it's just like. It's not selling as much as it used to. They're, they're oh, pitching because they can only do so much now. They've already done so much with the game; they can't do anything really new with it. So you're but, pretty but, much recycling I mean, what are you, shit. What are you going to do with a, a war game? I mean, there's a bad guy. There's bad guys. The only well, war like, game that the only at war first game they that, went, you know, old school. They went, you know, World War whatever, yeah, World yeah, War Two. But the only that thing, was cool. But that's not innovative. The most innovative game I've played that was kind of a war game was uh, Spec Ops: The Line. The story was intense. The graphics were good. It was in a completely different location. It wasn't really a war, per se. I mean, that game was actually a game that took a lot oh. of chances, and it paid off really well. Call I of Duty and Battlefield... Yeah, did you? Yeah, we yes, talked I about that. that. That's like the best thing ever. It is like, if anyone is out there, and you can hear me, play that game. Oh, <laughs> it, it's great. Spec, no, play Spec, up, play Spec, Spec Ops The Line. Line. That is uh, like the best story ever. Yeah. Ever. Yeah, and when I first saw, when it first came out, I was like, eh, I don't know, because all these other games, it's okay. In Ghost, oh, you're fighting against terrorists. The world's the, the world's collapsed as we know. It. It's the same shit we've seen in other games over the years. So I mean, Inspector of Lines is it's different. It's not the it's not the best because I mean, come on, it's not Metal Gear Solid Three. No, you know. no, but it's damn good. It does a yeah. good job of getting you. I mean, it'll it'll trick you a lot. So, call, wait, Call of Duty Ghost isn't available yet on the PS4? No, it's not gonna. I don't, I don't think it is. Yeah. See, it's available. For, it's, it's available. Out yet. It's available for is PC it? right now. It's out 60 for bucks. PS3 and uh, Xbox 360 and PC. Huh. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. I it. think. Yeah. Uh, did you hear about the the uh, the combined in 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 Europe? I think it was like. Yeah, Europe. It was um, like the combined sales of. Like um, like they did like a whole sales chart and like uh, it was like Xbox 360 and PS3 took up most of it and like the uh, the combined sales of Wii U and PC combinate combined for the uh, Call of Duty Ghosts didn't even make like didn't even make more than like one percent. I'm not surprised Damn. because there's it might have been just Britain. I think it was just Britain. Yeah, but, but the thing still. is, the thing is, first off, in Europe, Call of Duty—I don't know how true it is anymore. But Call of Duty is popular per se, and so is Battlefield. But they have games like Arma Two and Three, which are f probably far more accurate when it comes to being a combat simulator, and graphically oh, look yeah. pretty phenomenal. You know, and yeah. So there's a lot. I mean, there's there, there's a lot of software developers over there that we don't get the games here that are actually really excellent and. With, with Steam, you get some of them. Like I said, Arma is a perfect example. Arma Two, I played it. It's good. Here's Armored or Arm? Arma, A R M A. Arma. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, it? I also got to play. Uh, he was playing this one 2D game, not 2D. I didn't mean to say 2D. One side-scrolling like shooter game, okay. and um, that, that would be 2D, wouldn't it? No, I didn't mean to say 2D. I got side-scrolling shooter. Oh, because you could have a side-scrolling shooter that has like a 3D background and stuff. I mean, you could have it. Yeah, oh, like um, what yeah, was he's it? playing the he's yeah. playing the Shadow Complex, right? Yeah, it, yeah that was kind of that was a 2.5D, but except this one was really looked really good. And like the the cool thing about it is like whenever you would shoot a sh like a spaceship or something like that, mm -hmm. the uh, it explode and, like, all the pieces would fall off, and they'd all just pour down to the floor, and it just looked... That's, like... That's what got me. It's just, like, that. It's just... That so alone, the little details. They all have the details. Like, the details are what's, like, coming out this generation of consoles. I mean, that's, but that's all they can really do. I mean, that's what they have to do, is... Because those details are what's going to make it look more realistic. That's why I said shading, texturing... You know, like, if you look at a character, and there's, like, stubble on the guy's face or something, you know? I mean... Yeah, pretty soon they're going to be able to make all the individual hairs on that beard move. Yeah. Freaky. So no one played played it other than you. No one has one because, <laughs> come on, 
We do a podcast. You think we can afford a PS4? Yeah. <laughs> only, right? If we, if, if somebody wants to take the reins and try getting us a sponsorship from Gamefly or something, or if someone wants to talk, try talking to publishers about getting like a copy of something that we could review, I'd be happy as hell. So we be tickled pink shit. So I'm talking about one of you three, not the oh. audience. Oh. I thought audience they would they would, they would probably be better at it than yeah, that one that one guy is gonna get us at it. That one guy that listens to us would have to put his pants on and get out of his mom's basement before he even bothers. And he, hey, hey, and now he just turned, now, and now he turned off. He's making fun of me in my mama's basement. We're not judging. We're not yet. Yeah, no, we're judging. We can. We have a, the thing is we can say whatever we want to that listener because he's not going to send us any mail at all. No hate mail. No. no hate mail. No like thank you mail. No deaths. No death threats. I, yeah, can, I wish we could I, get can a death say, I, I can honestly say I'm glad we don't get hate mail or death threats. Thank you mail would be kind of nice. The other two I could do without either way. I guess <laughs> it's the silence that gets to me, John. It is. It really is because you yeah, know we yeah, know people you. are listening, but say something, man. It's like when you're on a date and she won't say nothing, but mm-hmm. it's like it's like your mm-hmm. Will, it's like your Will Smith character on uh in what was it where he was the last man in New York? Oh, I am Legend. I am Legend. And he thought that no, the world was dead. No, it's like Castaway with Tom Hanks, and you're talking to the ball. <laughs> and, now, and now Wilson's mad and just hung up on us. <laughs> uh, anybody play anything new? I mean, we were playing Risk of Rain a couple days ago. I got it from Dave. Yes. Yeah, that game is pretty fucking. Yeah, cool. one of you guys want to tell us about it? You guys are better. I, I I played it, but not as much as you guys. I mean, you guys can tell. Tell me you do that. You do we it. Got, it's well, David mentioned two D, and this one is definitely a two D side scroller. Yeah, and uh, it's just it's a it's great. It's fucking you got elements of uh, roguelike RPG. Gameplay, a very uh, lots of variety when it comes to enemies. It does have a final death kind of thing, though, right? I mean, when you die, you're you're dead. Yeah, you you start yeah, yeah you start permadeath. you kind of it's got permadeath. You can, you pretty much start at the beginning again. Ooh, yeah. game, what game is this again? Unless you're which playing multiplayer, so in which case, if uh, one of your teammates is able to complete the mission, uh, everyone respawns at, at the beginning of the next level. It is fun. Interesting. We got what is the plot of it? I mean, it seems like you're like an you're. It seems like you're an astronaut or something. Your spaceship crashes is what it seems like. Yeah, from 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 what I've gathered, you're on like a transport ship with a bunch of cargo, and sh- shit blows up. And, and, sh- down the planet. and shit just don't work right. Right. <laughs> well, all right, all right, all right. And you're on this alien world, and everything's trying to kill you. Well, isn't that always the way it works? Did you need to know anything else? So it's like going to not Texas. Are there it's... bitches? No. Uh, no. Well, it depends. Well, we don't we know. Have... We haven't really gotten that far. <laughs> yeah. I don't think we. I don't think we've even gotten to the end of the game. I, just... I don't think we've gotten that. Yeah, we haven't. I've only unlocked like three characters. I, was, I haven't gotten past the first mission. I don't think. Oh wow! I was doing really well, and then like I got near the end and died, and I. I didn't realize it was permadeath. No, I didn't realize it was permadeath because it's 2D side scrolling. I'm like, oh, I'm sure it just spawns. No. So I'm like, fuck these guys. I can take them out. Yeah, it wasn't a good idea. But it, it's definitely fun. I mean, it, it brings back pleasant memories of, you know, the old days playing games. So. Uh, and, it, and, and it's even better if you got the server set up and you're playing with friends. I got to try that next time. Yeah. You should probably get it, or You'd have fun. Yeah, it's not, yeah. It's not expensive. How much is it? It's like ten dollars. Oh, good lord! That's a lot of money. Why are you on here? I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> I um. Hang on, I got an idea. I, For this next segment, I want Art to repeat everything Dave says, only in Spanish. Go. <laughs> I did the stupid thing. Yo hice algo estúpido. Of getting. Total War Rome 2. Okay. And trying to play it on my laptop, which ended up hilarious. Your laptop won't do it? It, it doesn't. It just doesn't do the graphics. Oh, really? Because, I mean, I'm pretty sure I could... I'm pretty sure when I, when I record this show, I can do it. I got It's got dual video cards. It's got, it's, it's got a 2-gig dedicated NVIDIA card for gaming. 
Well, this is this is the laptop I have that I bought from Walmart. So. Oh yeah, no, I hear you. Oh, God. <laughs> hey, where's the Spanish? Sorry, he had, he said way too much. <laughs> I should have paused more. How, yeah, how, like, how are we going to have... pause at all. You're still going. How are we going to appeal to our our Hispanic-speaking viewer, or our Spanish-speaking viewer, listeners, well, even if our Spanish-speaking we don't viewers have... wouldn't be understand most of the shit we say. What? Yeah. If they're eh? Spanish-speaking, why would they even be here just talking to us? Well, they, I mean, see, the, they see the picture of you and figure, you know... No, even my picture's not good enough for them. <laughs> they think I'm Indian. They're like, oh, he's Indian. I could see that. I also got. I paused, Art. I paused for you. Oh, what, what was it you said? I'm sorry. I also got. I, I, I also compre. got. También compré. And at the same time, Star. Taylor's signing this, just so you guys know. <laughs> <laughs> what is that for? Uh, a fucking. Uh, what is it? Deaf people? The, the TTY? ASL. Yeah. No, that's that's blind people. God damn it. ASL? No. no, that's when you want to find out somebody's age, sex, and location in the chat room. ASL, girl. Why did anybody ever ask that? You you knew it was American all guys. American Sign Language. It's American Sign Language. Sign Language. Yeah, I would, guess, I, I, I would guess it's not for blind people, no. No, I, 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 I'm stupid. I don't know. What so you were saying, so, okay, so you got, you got Total War Rome 2. I mean, were you able to play it at all? Yeah, I can play it. It just looks like sandpaper. Oh. Well, how's the game, though? I mean, is the game good other than that? I, I got it and then I played it and then I was just like ooh and then I didn't I just stopped and didn't get to play it I'm pretty sure it's better than the first one I played the first one mm. and it was okay Dang. I'm not gonna review it I'm gonna give my opinion on the graphics for my laptop my specific laptop and it, it's that the game looks like sandpaper gotcha it looks like sandpaper but that's like just, what, what kind of grade of sandpaper like probably coarse. like the kind coarse. not even like Ace hardware material. I'm talking about like. Like, is it fine sandpaper or is it like graded like, like pretty much just rocks off of a mountain? <laughs> it did look like rocks. They look they 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 look more like rocks than sandpaper. Wow, that's pretty bad then. So it was like graphic. I, like I was playing PlayStation One graphic game. Oof. Hey, Oof. Nothing wrong with that. Oof. But for a laptop, I guess yeah, it would be. Yeah. Oof. But I did play a uh, Star Wars Battlefront. Not Star Wars Battlefront. Star Wars Empire mm-hmm. War. That's oh. a classic. That, I mean, that's I've always wanted to play that, but I, I have good. such horrible things about it. No, it's, it's, no, not, it's good. Uh, yes. Yeah, it's... Not not the Old Republic Town. Um, the RTS. Oh, oh I love the RTS. Yeah, it, play, it plays like Command & Conquer. Yes, yes it does. Except it plays like Super Command & Conquer that was better because... It has Star Wars characters. Yep. You can have space models. And you can make Anat Walkers. Yes. And Dark Troopers. Yeah, yeah. And it suffers from sure. the and it suffers from the same a- RTS AI problems that they all suffer from. Yeah, I didn't know that Dark Troopers were like twelve foot tall until yeah. I watched him play that. Game. He only played. He only like thought that Dark Troopers were like from Battlefront. And, and it all, sucked in that game. He didn't know that's about Dark Forces. Too. Oh, like right. Star Wars Dark Forces. That's a good. That's a classic too. I had yeah, that. I love that game. I bought that when it came and, out at Best Buy. And one of the units you can have is just the regular Dark Troopers. And in the other units, you get phase three dark troopers are the like the final boss from Dark Forces and you they're just units. And they're the giant dark they're the giant dark troopers that are like walking tanks. Gotcha. And shoot missiles. Nice. David also showed me um the like high phasing through walls uh fighter. That yeah. is, that is, that is um that's not a glitch, that is a feature. Yeah. It's a special feature. Wow. We also played um, the Old Republic. Nice. Yeah, so oh, the, oh, the online one. How was that? Oh, I love Old Republic. You never played it, did you? Um, well, like we tried. Yeah. The, the online. Or you we played the online game. Wait, are you talking about the online? I'm sorry, I'm thinking of You're Old thinking Republic. Knights. I mean, the Knights of the Old Republic. Yeah. Knights of the Old Republic is gold. It's yeah, great. That's it's a great game. Classic. So how's the how's the online game? Well, we we decided to play it together, and the idea was that we would start characters and then you know play it together. So that we could uh, try the game together, and um, have you know some kind of like uh, some way where we would be playing together. Some kind of togetherness. So yeah. a lot of togetherness. And um, turns out you're on different no. servers, aren't you? No, unless you fucking unless you both choose like the same class, 
you fucking you're on different planets for the what? first uh begin like for the first like three or four hours. You know, Guild, yeah. Guild Wars Two did that too. Me and uh me and Mikey had Guild Wars Two, and you pick your backstory and all that shit. And when you're done with it, it puts you wherever. He was put somewhere that I couldn't get to, and he couldn't get to me because the game like adjusts the difficulty as you get further away from your you know where you start, obviously. Yeah. And like. The mountain range between the two cities, you'd need to like be like a level fifty before you can make it through. I'm like, well, this is fucking ridiculous. What if I want? What if we just want to? You know, what if we just want to mine stuff and craft things? (laughs) (laughs) But there's ways to teleport. Games for that. Minecraft game. Well, they they what they have like teleports between the cities and stuff, but you have to like kind of unlock them. But yeah, it took like forever before we were actually ever able to like play the game together. You would think that a game that's designed to be multiplayer and something that you can do with your friends... It's somewhat social. ...would let you <laughs> play with your friends. You would think. No, but. you're wrong. Anyway. If you want to play with your friends, play Risk of Rain. Risk of Rain is is very fun. I will say. They just had a sale on... Gamefly had a sale on uh, Fallout... New Vegas, it was a complete, like, all the add-ons and stuff. It was, like, nine bucks for PC. And I'm like, ooh, I should buy it, because I, I have New Vegas, but I didn't think I had all the stuff for it. I looked at my Steam account, I'm like, oh, I do have all the stuff for it. And I've been like, you know what? I'm going to reinstall that and play that again. I love that game. Yeah, it's a good one. I actually got um, the I like Fallout... The- Go ahead. The Fallout bundle with uh, Fallout, Fallout 2 and Fallout Brother Tactics. Oh, and, yeah, t- uh, yeah. I tried sending you a text about it because I found the fucking TARDIS in Fallout. Yes, I got the yeah, Emery getting there. a text. I was there. Where did, you find it? Where did you find it in Fallout? Fallout 1. The original oh, really? Fallout. 1990, like, 2 or 4, whenever it came out. 1997. 7, was it? Okay. Mm-hmm. Wow, it was later than I thought then. You know what? That is a hard game, too. It's not like... It, it's a good game, but it's not real easy. Not like the ones that are now? Like, Are those considered easy to you? I was They're... telling Dave about it, and I was like, you know how in modern games, and you're all like, you get a quest, and then you go out the door, and there's a big fucking neon sign with an arrow pointing to the right, yeah. and you know you have a waypoint leading you to the right, and like everyone you talk to is all like, hey, you should try going to the right. Well, in Fallout, you exit the place, and it's all like, we heard a rumor that the water chip might be to the right. <laughs> And after extensive traveling, you find out that it's not to the right. <laughs> it's actually to the upper left. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of Fallout, um, Wasteland One, the game that Fallout. Some people speak. Some people speculate that it actually isn't set in the same universe as Fallout. Wasteland it's One. The, it's uh. It's the. I don't know if I played that. It's like came out way before. I think it came out in uh, like nineteen eighty something, like maybe nineteen eighty nine or something like that. It, yeah, you know, what, it might be an inspiration for Fallout. Yes, it's what the uh, no, it's made by the same people. It's made by Interplay. Well, that's what I mean. It might be an inspiration. I mean, the, the, some of the team it's and all that may. Fallout is a spiritual success. Well, there's yeah, a, there's yeah. um uh, certain things where certain characters that are, do the same thing are in Fallout. Huh. It never was specified a year what it was set in, but it does look kind of like Mad Max. It matches Mad Max ish. Yeah, it matches Fallout. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I ever finished the first Fallout game. I think I always ran out of time. It's on Steam now. Oh, I have. Steam no, was... I, I have like multiple. I have it on there. Or I think I, I know I have it somewhere. Multiple copies. Oh, Wasteland. Wasteland, oh, Wasteland? is on Steam now. Yeah. It's for $6 right now. Yeah. It's like a wasteland. I bet you it's on goodoldgames.com, too. Yeah, you know what? That, that is Wasteland 1, the original classic. Oh, yeah, because then there's Wasteland Angel. That's like the... I, yeah, yeah. Did you see all this stuff coming out on Steam? Like, they're, they're, First off, I think it's getting oversaturated with zombie shit. Well, there's a lot of stuff coming out. The nuke pooch. <laughs> nice. Five ninety nine. I might have to pick that up. I still want Buddy Jesus. You know, it's funny you said about the TARDIS from Doctor Who being in Fallout, because I don't remember if it was EverQuest or... It was one of those big RPGs, one of the older ones, 
if you went to the top of this mountain, it was there. But if you approached it, it would disappear. And if you backed off, it would reappear. <laughs> like it, it's appeared in numerous, in like little in games throughout history. It's funny. He, he said that that's what it disappeared when he got close to it. Nice. Is Talon still here? Yeah. Yeah, he's playing Fallout now. No, I'm just thinking. I'm just about, thinking about how excited I was to see the fucking TARDIS, and I took a picture of it, and I was going to send it to John. Oh, I didn't get a picture. I, I, I got a text message of you saying you found it. I don't think I ever got a picture. Well, it, it didn't send properly, I guess. But <sighs> I anyway, still want to the... see that. The um, when I approached it, it disappeared, and the only thing that was left was a motion sensor. A hmm. no motion sensor. Yeah. yeah. I don't get it, Talon. What you mean a motion sensor? It's like the you you've played you've played Fallout. Yeah. Yeah. And there's the uh, in uh in New Vegas, and uh. Fallout 3, you can use a motion sensor and other gubbins to make, like, landmines and stuff. Oh, yeah. You know, I will say, the one thing I liked about Fallout New Vegas over Fallout 3, I thought the story was better. I liked the Out for Revenge, and then I'm gonna take over the city myself story. Yeah, you do like that shit. Yeah. I did, too. I, it, 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 because it, you don't have this, like, without this, without you doing this, the world will collapse. You need to save humanity. No, it's, no, we don't. Uh, you you need to save Vegas, and I could get behind that because I love Vegas. <laughs> that, that's a hookers and casinos and booze. That's a cause I can get behind. <laughs> Damn straight. <laughs> wait, wait. So you're gonna take away the hooker and the booze and the gambling? Oh, fuck that. We're, what oh, are we gonna oh. do? Now, now, now it's on Caesar. Yes. Fuck sons Caesar. of bitches. Where's Boone? Bring me Boone. Me and Boone will take them all out. Dude, he was one of the. He was also one of the best characters in the Fallout games. You get if you get Boone and you get the robot, literally nothing can come near you. <laughs> the awesome. robot was my favorite. The robot he was, was pretty too good helpful. The iBot. The, the iBot will like laser stuff like from far away, and Boone will shoot it from far away. Oh yeah, so you'd be you'd be the, walking down the road, and all of a sudden you're like hearing gunfire. You turn and look, and they they're just gone. Taking care of something. <laughs> yeah, because they like the. I think the iBot can see things from very far away, and Boone can shoot things from very far away. So if you have two of them, then you're just you can nothing can come near you in a very like mile wide radius. Hey Art, do you like this Facebook mm. page cover better than the old pages where you were the uh, somewhat feminine um, uh, mutant, uh, mutant fucking grimace? Yes. yes. <laughs> this, is, this, is bad. this is a step up. Grimace. Okay, good. Yes, it is. Thank you very much. <laughs> Mutant Grimace. <laughs> That's what I was, man. Grimace smash. Grimace smash. <laughs> it's awesome. Grimace smash. I like it. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. It's love like it. the McDonald's Avengers and like Loki's coming in there and, Mc and Ronald McDonald's like, we got a Grimace. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. Calm down, Grimace. Calm down. That's the thing, Ronald. I'm always Grimace. Right. <laughs> <laughs> he turns purple. That was probably... That, that, you know, out of that Avengers movie, I, I think the best parts of that movie were the Hulk and Iron Man. I mean, it really could have just been like Iron Man 2 and a half and Hulk 2. Yeah. I mean, everyone's that saved the day. And the, the Hulk, funny the part Hulk, is that that's what happens in the end. They both leave together. It's like, oh, we don't need these fuckers. They're stupid anyway. Yeah. To us. What, what I think is great is in that movie, the whole time, Loki's just doing whatever he wants. And then the Hulk's there. And Loki starts going into that speech, and the Hulk kicks the living shit out of him and just walks uh, away. More like tosses him. <laughs> Close enough. He pummels him. Yeah, he does get pummeled. I mean, he, he's nicely. in the ground. <laughs> and, the and Tony gone. did warn him. He did say they have a Hulk. He did. He did. Well, yeah, he didn't take him seriously. He, he had ample uh, warning there. There was I can't think of what school it was, but some school there were some students that did a, did a study and they said that money wise the Hulk caused as much if not more damage to the city than the invasion did. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> I buy that. But no, but yeah, the, that, that's the best part. It, and we have a Hulk. It's like yeah, yeah. And then and when he walks away and he's like and he just says puny god. 
Yeah, puny <laughs> demigod or puny god. Yeah, puny he god, say. he just walks off. We ha- I have an army. I- we have a Hulk. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and did I mention... It- you know, it- it's funny, because really, the Hulk and Iron Man were the only two characters that weren't getting really tired out. Hawkeye ran out of ammo. Thor somehow was... Yeah, I thought Thor was good in the movie, but you really think a, go- a demigod would have, you know... Been a I little more know, carry the team a little more. You mean? Yeah, yeah. Really pull some of his own weight a little bit more. Yeah, Captain America. Captain America is too much of a goody goody in my book, but eh, he was all right. Are you forgetting that he summoned lightning storms and like electrocuted a bunch of those fuckers? Are, yeah, and, and 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 who took down his brother? And who gave him the idea? <laughs> and then who flew into space into another dimension? So that's right. Yeah, you got nothing. You got nothing. <laughs> But oh, Thor, we Thor need Dallin was... saw Thor 2. Oh, how was it? it was, oh, yeah. I liked it. Was it was good. Thor flew into space in three different dimensions. And and, and took out the aliens with the took out the device? Yeah, it was basically like if Star Wars and Lord of the Rings decided to make a movie together and just combine everything. Because there, like, there was lasers and it was real weird. Cause, like, so it was like Flash like, Gordon. Oh, yes, yes, it was. was. Yes, it was exactly like Flash Gordon. (laughs) Except good. Yes. Yes. It was real good. I liked it. And it was... Gordon or or Thor? Thor. Thor Thor. 2. I was making sure, man. Dude, there's like seven people that liked Flash Gordon. Uh, Make it eight! I used to like it when I was a kid, because it'd come on. It'd come on, like, just public television all the time. The movie? Yeah, they were in the first one. Flash! Uh, didn't they say uh, Ashton Kutcher was going to remake it or something? Oh my god! Oh, that should kill. No. That should kill his. You know what? No, let him because that should kill his career and the, the, that franchise. He had a career. Dude, he did when he played Uh Yeah, uh, you know how many people saw the uh, movie about the, the movie Jobs that he was in? I know people that that are Apple fans that didn't see it. Look, it's on video already. Is it really? Yeah, I, I didn't even I realize it came out. <laughs> They said he did everything but do it well. Really? Yeah. So Thor 2 was good. Right? You guys liked it? Yes. Yes. I thought to watch it. I gotta watch it. I haven't haven't seen the first one yet. Despite the fact that it didn't adhere to Norse Norse mythology. So I heard, I heard, what's her face? Um, Ashley Kutcher? No, no. The girl who plays in Thor. Um, Ashley Kutcher? The other girl. The other girl. The guy that plays Thor. Was it Shiv, Shev, Sev, 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 Sev? What? Sev? The one in, the girl in Thor. Which one? Yeah, There's who are like you talking three. about? The one, like, his, uh, the, his, like, main character girl. Sev? Sev, yeah. I heard she was hitting on him. Which, I don't know why he's going not going out with her instead of Natalie Portman. Because oh, Natalie Portman... Because he didn't... Because it's like me and white women. It's like they're everywhere. Yeah, but she's hot and, okay, like, well, for, strong. Yeah, okay, but let's see, Natalie Portman was um, queen of a universe and she also learned how to be a sniper from the professional so uh, oh, she wasn't nice. a queen of the universe she was the queen of Naboo yeah, okay. and she and it's only like a pre- it's a, more like a president because uh, she's okay like, all right but okay. Change over either so way she learned how to be a hitman also when she was like 12 yeah that was a good movie I liked that the professional was it Jean Reno was it Jean, Jean, Jean Reno, Reno. Genre. Which is funny yeah. is he's in a movie called Wasabi that's almost like a comedy kind of flick, but it's like an action comedy from like France because it's where you know he's from. Yeah, I'm like, wow, this guy played it, the professional. Wow, this guy's Onimusha playing a dirty hairy gun. Yeah, he played in Onimusha three. I love that game too. He was in uh, Mission Impossible, the first one. He was in. He's been in a lot of stuff. He was in Ronin too. He was in Godzilla, unfortunately. <laughs> was? <laughs> yeah, he was. He. <laughs> Oh, the remake, right? Or, like, whatever, the American version, whatever the fuck you want to call it? It was called Godzilla. Call it American version. Yeah. The new American version looks cool. Yeah, Doesn't well, you know what? Do... I'm not going to lie. If they if they took the money invested in trying to make a realistic Godzilla movie, they could probably just make a Godzilla. Yeah, it's... it's Brian oh, Cranston. Godzilla! Brian Cranston's in it. It's got to be good. You know... Oh, speaking of Brian Cranston. Okay, so... I always said how... I always made the joke, and I heard it somewhere else, but I always repeated it. That if you think of Breaking Bad as a prequel to Malcolm in the Middle, it's even funnier. It's even a better show. So today I get an email this morning from a guy I work with. He goes, this is kind of along the lines of what you talked about. And it shows this part in Breaking Bad, probably the finale. 
and all of a sudden it gets real wavy, and Brian Cranston's in bed, and he wakes up and goes, "Oh my god, I had such a nightmare!" And it's the woman that played his wife and Malcolm in the Middle with him. It was like that character. He goes, "I had this nightmare where I was a meth. I, I cooked meth, and I was a world class scientist." And she's like, "Oh, honey, that would never happen." It's like five minutes long. It's fucking hilarious. Like they're, they're like this. Yeah, could, they're like this could have been. The, this could have been the alternate ending. I'm like that would have been fucking great. If they released that as the part of the Sopranos. Oh yeah, it is. Would have made actually black. sense. Yeah, black screen. Yeah. They should have just put insert <laughs> insert ending here. Insert your favorite ending here. You know. So hey, Christopher Eccleston's in uh, Thor two, huh? The guy from yeah. Gone in sixty seconds, and he played Doctor Who for a while. Well. Ooh, Zachary Levi? Oh, look at that. All the big guns are coming out. Idris Elba, too? Really? He's a good actor. Rene Russo? Yeah, he was the... Uh, Rene, oh, Russo. yeah, Rene Russo plays his, uh, Thor's mother. The queen. Idris... Uh, uh, I don't know, was it... Idris Elba? <laughs> the guy from Luther? Yes, he's from and, Luther. And, and, and the and Losers. The captain of Prometheus. Luther? That's a TV show. A good mm. TV show. He was also he's... in uh, The Losers. He played the traitor. Mm-hmm. Oh, he, right, him, okay. And he yeah. was in Guy Ritchie's last movie, too, uh, Rock and Rolla, which I thought was a great movie, but I don't know if they'll ever make a sequel. I never saw that movie. It's fucking great. So an action movie? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's him hmm. and it's, uh... Oh, what the fuck's the guy's name? I always forget the other guy's name. The guy from 300. They always, that's what everyone always remembers him from. Uh, Gerard Butler? Yeah. Huh. I like that Idris Elba. I do He's too. Actor. I, think, I, I, I wish I he was Batman. I said that same thing. I'm like, you know what? Batman. So what? He would have been. He's a good actor. Would have worked fine. Yep. I know. If you're going to change a superhero yeah. to a different like race or to a different like uh, gender, Batman, you can make a different race easily, and it's not going to be a problem. But you can't like take the Black Panther and make it a white dude. <laughs> You'd piss off a lot of people. <laughs> On both sides of the fence. Yeah. You know what? I almost hope they would. <laughs> yeah, that'd be as bad as do, picking doing something stupid like making Ryan Reynolds Green Lantern. Oh wait. Oh, that oh too soon. <laughs> I, somebody sent me a picture and it showed like uh, a meeting room and it looked like a bunch of people that were just like they're just laughing like looking at a table and on the table was a picture of a newspaper and it said Ben Affleck to be Superman and it said mean, meanwhile at Marvel. And it's just everyone sitting there laughing. <laughs> I will find out when the movie comes out. I ha- you know what? Judging. I have hope for it, but I, you know what? I just don't think it's going to work. I, 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 I have hope for it. I'm not going to like say, oh, it's going to suck. I know it's going to suck. Because I don't. I mean, like you said, when it comes out, wow, this whole episode has been movies and comics. And that's okay, because we didn't play much games. <laughs> yeah. The games that I'm ready for aren't even out yet, so... That's yeah, true. me too. I've played a few games recently. I played uh Go for I'm it. Man. Don't don't interrupt him. Go for it. Far Cry three. What do you think of it? It was alright. I liked it a lot. Do you uh, want me to did you ever finish it? No, not yet. Oh, I, uh, that you borrow mine so you can finish it? Nah, maybe alright. I got I go to my <laughs> cheap online and a gameplay, I think. Yeah. The um I really enjoyed being able to be uh, the Terror of the Night and just silently kill everyone in Outposts. <laughs> you were able yeah, to do that in the second game, though, too. I had yeah. the second game. You never played the second one? I had the second one, if you want to borrow that one. Second one, second one was good. The second one had a good story. <laughs> Actually, the first one was still my favorite, but... Because the first one was kind of like a sci-fi game, so... I love the second one. Got... I don't see people... Lo- There's people that just love... Love the second one, and I don't get it because like it was a good game, but after a while it gets like repetitive. Well, what I like about fast. it, what I like about it is you're basically a mercenary. Yeah. Which is kind of cool. I mean, you can pretty much do whatever the fuck you want. I mean, there's no, no rules really, you know. But I don't like that they aren't they don't follow each other at all. Like if you're gonna make a series of games, you'd think like, okay, here's Far Cry. Okay, it takes place on this island, and you could do all this. Okay, cool. And it's got these mutant creatures and a mad scientist. Awesome. Here's Far Cry, Far Cry 2. Has nothing to do with the other one. There's no mutant creatures. You're in, like, Columbia, and you're trying to catch a gunrunner. Oh, 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 oh. 
Okay. And you're a different character. Oh, God. Okay. And then here's Far Cry 3. Now you're a group of people partying. You get kidnapped and brought to an island. I'm like... Work with it. Work with it. Why can't you... Why? But isn't that... <laughs> I really like that. Are, isn't the premise of all three of them that you're a single guy out on an island or some uh, tropical region right. for but is, tropical but, pussy? But is, yeah. it, isn't it the plot? Isn't isn't it? So you're saying basically the one versus the world thing? But I mean, isn't it the plot of Halo and Call of Duty and no, Rocky was... and <laughs> Rambo? <laughs> I mean, it's no, that's the same I idea. No, I actually like that idea. I like how it's a different thing every time. What? I, I, I really like that. I just think it should be a different title. Mm-hmm. Listen, when I play Far Cry, when I play a game called... If I if, if Dead Space 2 came out and it had nothing to do with Dead Space 1, I'm sure a lot of people would be pissed. Yeah, I can see that. That's all I'm saying. Well, it's kind of like Silent Hill 2. The only thing in common with Silent Hill 1 was Silent, Silent Hill. Hill. Right, but that's that's the yeah, that's fine because there's something in common. As long as it's not like Halloween 1, 2, not Halloween. Is it Halloween? Halloween 1, 2, and it doesn't get to 3, and it's like a completely different movie series. Yeah. I mean, or I'm not dissing the Far... Don't get me wrong. I'm not dissing the Far Cry games. I think they're all good games. I, I just wish, you know, they'd make a sequel to the first one. Hmm. Yeah, that's all. Maybe it'll we'll, maybe they'll tie in somehow. Maybe they'll sure. maybe they'll listen to they'll, they'll listen to our podcast and go, yeah, that guy's right. We should make a sequel to that. Uh, so, Talon, you overall like it? Yeah, cool. definitely. What else is up? What else have you been playing? Um, Glad one person on a video game podcast plays games. I played. Yeah, games. I played other games, but just not new ones. I don't. Yeah, not new ones. Oh. Played Call of Duty Ghosts with my cousin. How, How was, was it? it? It was every other Call of Duty game ever. Okay. Basically, saying, basically since Call of Duty Modern Warfare 1. Okay, now, 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 see, what I did like about Modern Warfare, what was it, 4? Is that what we're on right now, Modern Warfare 4? Yeah, four. yeah uh, there was a support class, and then there was, like, an assault class. So, like, the, the what was it, the care packages came, like, just as long as you killed a guy or, like, you fucking... Assisted. I can do without the care packages in the games, to be honest with you. I like the care packages. That's they make you, it that's, all that's, worth that's it. because that's the only way you can win. Whatever, bitch. Says the guy who never gets the care package. Don't need Where it. you kill people, and then you can just call down a pod of weapon just right to your feet. And then just continue just killing people using that same weapon. It's, it's just, it, 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 like in the, in the second one, where you can call in a nuke. Really? And I'm pretty sure in real combat, if if you're saying, hey, we need helicopter support, they're not going to say, okay, if you kill four people in a row, <laughs> we'll let you call it in. <laughs> it doesn't. If you, if you do enough work, we will let you have air support. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure. And also, when they're flying in, like, Tomahawk missiles or drones, I'm pretty sure they don't parachute the briefcase into you. So you could pilot it. Usually they have you mark it with, like, a laser that you're already carrying. Mm-hmm. That's more like Battlefield yeah. 4. That's more like Battlefield. Yeah, Battlefield, Battlefield's got, Battlefield has, a, has a little bit more realism to it, yeah. Just a, just a tad bit. Yeah. Just, just a just little bit. It was... I was watching a video and I was making fun of how like Call of Duty players were like, "Man, battle, uh, Call of Duty, it's now got the multiplayer maps now got dynamic environments and they they change and it, and it showed a picture and like some logs fell over and it went to Battlefield and like a building collapsed." <laughs> yeah, yeah, I saw I saw that. Yeah. Uh, okay, trailer. you it know, really and, cool. and as impressive as all that is nowadays, remember playing Mercenaries One? You could blow it up and then blow it up again yeah. and then blow it up yes. again. For so, and giggles, blow it up again. Though they had the best ad campaign for that game. I use two grenades it's... when one will do. <laughs> I would just say, I do this job. I would seriously, even if you didn't pay me. And you know what the best part is when Call of, when Call of Duty or when Battlefield two, or Battlefield in general lets me call in a carpet bombing B fifty two. Give me a call because nothing was better than in Mercenaries when you re- when you really wanted to cause havoc. You called in that bomber. And you just saw those bombs dropping and saw it was oh, it was beauty. My favorite was the bunker buster. That was good too. But when you had yeah. like troops that you didn't know where they exactly where they were, uh huh. You just call in the carpet bomber. 
Like the first time I saw the bar, the bunker buster, he called it in. It hit the building. I'm like, what the fuck? It oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, that was awesome. Uh, was uh, I like those mercenary games. Good times. Yeah, I wish the third one would come out. The second one I didn't really enjoy too much. Well, you know, I like the second one. I did too. I like I like when it starts off after you take over that mansion. You pretty much just floor your car and dive into the highway. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh no! You die. It, what I used to do is I used to floor the car and jump over the fountain. That's what it was. Yeah, I wrecked that girl's car. What was it? The, it was the was train. It looked like a train, like a '79 Trans Am. Yeah. Oh, I beat the <laughs> shit out of that car. Uh, you know, Border Borderlands kind of reminded me of the Mercenary games a little bit. Part two wasn't too bad. I'm probably gonna end up buying it again. Borderlands too. Yeah, I like it. I have to finish it still. You always say that about every game you get in your PC. Like, ah, you know why? Because they'll run a sale, and it's like, ooh, nine dollars. Okay, I'll buy it. I'll start playing it. Then the next week, ooh, nine dollars. Ooh, piece of candy. Actually, it happens. It happens with candy. Xbox games too. If I find a good deal on them, I'll mm-hmm. buy like four of them. Like, fuck, Mass Effect still, Three is still not opened up. With all that on, I bet. Dude, as place. much as we talked about Mass Effect, I, I follow some other podcasts. And on Facebook, and oh my god, to this fucking day, every day, they're posting at least two or three fa- uh, like Mass Effect-themed Facebook pictures. <laughs> I'm like, that game was not the greatest game ever made. I mean, it was good. Wasn't it, though? Apparently, for them, it was. I it was the greatest game. I, think, I really don't. I think the second one was the best. In, I, well, okay, out of the two I played, the second one was the best. I still have to play the... Th- I haven't played the third one, granted, but... The... But, man, you would think... I mean, they... Every fucking thing they post. Hmm. Interesting. And quite honestly, I think I had more... I think Assassin's Creed 2 and then Brotherhood and that other one are probably as good, if not better, than the Mass Effect games. Yeah, I, I, I somehow get urges to play Mass... I mean, um... Asa- Assassin's, Assassin's Creed, Creed you know like why? Cause, you know why? Because you can climb massive, awesome architectural buildings in Renaissance Italy. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and you can oh jump. You can, you can jump five stories to five off of a five story temple and stab a guy in the head. <laughs> I want to play Assassin's Creed Four so bad. Four, oh, I know, right? Four looks great. Four looks it really does. good. That's one of the games I'm. And waiting you know what? For. Four is the, four was the game that caused the creator of the series to quit Ubisoft and leave. He said that he thinks they're taking the series in a different direction. Well, fuck! Your hero got killed in the end of the last one. No, he didn't. I thought they said that, uh... Desmond. Desmond, Des- get, yeah, Desmond okay. dies. I th- I'm, I'm thinking, like, uh, fucking... I'm like, no, pretty... I, I'm like, I didn't... Yeah, what did they do with fucking... Yeah. Well, yeah, I guess this one... No, th- no, this one, the fourth one, your guy is working for Upstergo instead. Shut up, really? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Is it just me, or does it seem like the Assassin's Creed games and, like... Every movie, like directed by uh, M Night Shyamalan, have a, a, a have a theme going. Well, you know what the, it's you, just like oh, there's a twist. But you know what the difference is? Hmm. The Assassin's Creed games, the Assassin's Creed games are good. Well, and they're that's... fun and enjoyable. Yeah, and not predictable. Arguable. And have better not twists. Lie, the one with the trees <laughs> killing people or the plants killing people, I saw that coming within the first four minutes. The movie. The movie, yeah. Which one was it? The Happening, what? Oh, With Mark no. Wahlberg. Yeah. I saw that right. I was like, I was like, what's killing him? And then I saw the, like, at the beginning, I'm like, oh, it's the trees or plants. Okay. That's kind of dumb. And that was it. And it's not like his movies have bad plots. I mean, some of them are decent plots. It's just, they're just not good. No, no. And then that movie, what was it? The Village? My God. Oh, yeah, where she she leaves and finds out that it was all, everything's a lie and there were no it creatures. It was all forest. Adrian Brody the whole time. Yeah. Yeah, it was Adrian Brody. Who, who seriously cannot carry a movie? I'm sorry, he is not that good an actor. And thank God they stab uh, Joaquin Phoenix. <sighs> put, put that motherfucker down like his brother. Isn't it almost like in every movie he gets stabbed? <laughs> in fucking Gladiator, wait, he got wait, stabbed. Wait, when I said that, did somebody just go, "Ooh"? I did. That's not like, cool. <laughs> oh, what? Something that happened in 1992? Still too soon? It's way too soon. Whatever. Well, you know what? If somebody didn't decide he was going to snort a bag of fucking coke... In front of Johnny Depp's club, yeah. Yeah, he'd still be alive. The Mm. Viper Room. The Viper Room. You know, it amazes me when you find out, like, like, okay, how Heath Ledger died, or how River Phoenix died. Oh, 
yeah, he, he did too much coke or whatever it was. I don't remember what drug it was or what drugs. And then you look at like rock musicians like Motley Crue and Rolling Stones and all these people, and you're like, how the fuck are any of them still alive? Oh, I don't even know. I the Rolling Stones did they, more they drugs. The right than, amount of no, drugs. No, they did, they did more drugs than any motherfuckers ever. You know, actually, I take that back because one of the guys from Motley Crue actually overdosed and was pronounced legally dead and was revived. <laughs> and the fucker was brought back. Yeah. Wasn't like, uh, didn't. Uh, what's his name? Nikki the, Six uh, used to shoot heroin constantly. Yes. Yeah. Didn't Nikki Six just like constantly shoot heroin and hide in the closet with a shotgun all the time? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, but you you, you take two sleeping pills and you're dead. Go figure. <laughs> what about one and a half? I I don't think Joaquin Phoenix is that bad. He's all right in some movies. But I didn't like him in Gladiator. Listen, no he, one... he, listen he's no River Phoenix. No, definitely not. It, but back, back to Adrian Brody. I mean, really, like, try making him an action star in Predators. And, yeah. Just, just stick to doing thing. fucking commercials for Tangare or whatever the fuck he was doing. What's it, Tangare? Uh, no, no, it was, it was um, um, the shaving place, uh, Gillette, or something like that. Yeah, he did, he did some other ones, too, at one point. Uh, but, one of them we did in Skyline, I think he made it to? I don't know. If it sucked, he was probably in it. Yeah, Skyline. I didn't even watch the movie. He seems like a nice guy and all, but it's like, dude, just, just stay. He played some gay guy in... Know your role. And uh, what was it? Son of Sam, I think it was. Was that him? That was him. He played one of the gay guys. Hmm. Anyways, I don't know where we derailed or what happened. Uh, what are you talking about? Did, We're talking he about did, he, did a, he did a movie, um, Adrian Brody. He was in a movie with... Uh, back that I saw a long, long time ago. I really like it. it was with him, him and uh, Mila Djokovic or something like that. Djokovic. Yeah, they did a movie together, and I really like that movie. I don't know what the name of it is. Well, let's find out. It was like the embodiment of like '90s. Dazed and confused. <laughs> yeah, Adrian Brody. Adrian. What well, it was? Was it Dazed and Confused, or was it? Uh, cause she was in that. She was in the Fifth Element. Resident Evil. I mean, she was in Dazed and Confused. She, she yeah, she was. That's her. No, it's her actually, actually it's actually 2002. It's called Dummy. Ah, she was also. I I liked uh, Ultraviolet with her, to be honest too. Ultraviolet. You know what I don't like? You know what I hate? Uh, I hate movies. Which one? I hate Resident Evil movies. I don't know why. I, I like the first one. I didn't see the last one. I saw parts of it, yeah, couple, like yesterday, and I kind of want to see it now, just to I, see the. The ending. first and second one I thought were good. I, I mean, the first one was good. The second one was watchable. It was it was all right. Yeah, the but third, the one, third one I didn't. The third one I didn't bother like with. Almost. Yeah, the third one I didn't bother with. The fourth one I didn't bother with either. But the first one, the soundtrack was good. We've talked about this before. The soundtrack was good. The special effects were good. The little girl was creepy. Wait, there's a fifth one, right? They were like yeah. out in the fifth one, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I saw the fourth one. The third one, I I haven't seen the fifth one. The last you know, one. she had. A, she she's a singer too. She can do whatever she wants. Yeah. She had an album out. A couple of them, I think. Mm-mm-mm. Anyways, I don't have anything else to talk about. You guys? Uh, I'm playing the Mega Man X Collection. Oh, yeah? How is that? It's not bad. I the problem is I'm playing the, the PlayStation 2. Okay. And I, and I had composite cables. Oh, okay. Or component cables, whatever they're called. What are, composite or component? It would be... Com- mm, what colors component. are the cables? It's uh, red, uh, two red, two uh, one white, and then... No, no. Red, red, white, for blue, audio. green, red. Yeah, component. It's component. Okay, component. Yeah, and I was playing the game. It started off fine, but then when I went to play the Mega Man X, which is the same SNES one, the yeah. very first one. Yeah. All I heard was sound, but no screen. That's weird. It didn't. It and didn't. I was like, I thought maybe the game was screwed up. I did it twice, and I'm like, maybe it's the cables. So I switched it to the old regular, just you know, red, component. white, and the yellow. Composite, yeah. Works perfectly fine. Uh, it's got to be something. With, it should be scaling it to. Output it differently it might not be. Nah, I don't know. So, that's so you're playing it. the so, old, old, old school version. Yeah. So I beat the. I just beat the, the first one right now. I mean, has there just talking. not been anything major coming out that we've just been kind of like, eh? Um, I mean, new systems, I, but it doesn't seem like any. None of the exclusives are out yet. I don't think really, like, no, none of the none of the big ones. I everything's know, right? coming well, out sometime this month. That's the well, thing. 
Killzone, Killzone, and all that came out for like PS4, and I've heard not so great things about Killzone. I didn't, which I expected. The two, I, Killzone. The, the two I played, I didn't like. I mean, I have a PS3, it's, and I was like, I, I liked the first half of the one I played, but after that, I was like, eh. The PSP one wasn't bad. Oh yeah, Liberation. Yeah, mm-hmm. but it, it was a totally different game though the way it played. It's Killzone, and for some reason, some people like it, and mo- most people don't. It's just a fucking alien invasion. It's what it is. is it's like every other fucking alien a, invasion. It's like Halo. It's, it's like just, Mass Effect. It, it's just like a giant um, TV. Jump. It's a demo jumbled mess. Is what it is. It's, no, you know it's what it is. To, no, no. It's literally that's what it is. That's all it is. Every time I hear about it, it's just like wow. It looks really good on my TV, and that's it. No, you know what it is. It, it's like when it's like when network TV, like NBC or Fox, tries doing a sci-fi show. It was supposedly supposed to be the Halo killer when it first came out. Yeah. Which one? It didn't work too well. Kills on it. Really? Yeah. No. Yeah. That's what they labeled it as. Yeah, that's my what ass. They, Good luck. That's what they labeled it as. Wow. That's a bold statement, too. Yeah, right Sony on. was really trying. Right, Talon. The, uh... I'm not gonna the lie. Game I've been able to, like, experience that I felt could even compare that might... Just maybe fill that hole in my heart that that was left when Halo Four ruined it. Destiny. You, you, know, uh, you know what I think is hilarious is he, he originally he didn't like Halo Four, but he said it was a good game, just not Halo. Now it's ruined the series for him. Well, no, I, I told you that for, at the very beginning. It, yeah, that's what it, it means. Butchered, it butchered the storyline. Well, of course, that's gonna happen. I mean. It, that's what happens when they keep trying to beat a dead horse instead of coming up with a new IP. I mean, that's to be expected. It's like, well, oh, they well. They beat the dead horse. They didn't have to prostrate it and yeah, put what happened? Like, They have tons of lore. They can make a game with different characters and everything. Yeah. Yeah, but they, know, they don't Master want. Chief. But they don't want to do that because Master Chief sells. It, that's the way business works. They're not going to take but, that chance. It's the same thing with Hollywood. Every fucking movie that comes out is the same plot as a movie that came out before it. Every one of them. There has not been an original movie in the last ten years. But you can go to the cheapy theaters and see B-movies that have original plots, but Hollywood doesn't want to take a chance on it. They want to go with what they know is going to sell. And it's the same thing with the game companies. They know if we put Master Chief in it, people will buy it because Master Chief's in it. But ODST was such a better game. The what, Halo 4? Than Halo 4, I thought it was. I loved ODST. That's my favorite. I, I would agree. I thought Reach, I thought I thought Reach, Reach was, was pretty good. Yeah. It goes, it goes, it goes Halo 1, yeah. ODST, and Reach are my three favorite Halo games. I like for, 2. For me, it's 1 and dual 2. For me, it's one and, for, me, for me, it's 1 and 2. Uh, 3, wait. You, dual wheel and 3, too, no? Or no, was it just 2? No, it was in you dual wheel and 3. You dual wheel yeah, and 3. Yeah, I missed that. No, 1 and 2, when it came to the single player, I liked better than the other ones. Anyway, the one game that I uh, tried recently that I felt could compare to Halo is a game called Planet Side Two. Yeah, I've heard of Planet Side. But uh, my computer, like, I I dropped into the game after playing through the tutorial, being all like, "Yeah, this game's gonna be great." I dropped into the game, took like three step, three stuttery, laggy. <laughs> terrible steps got sniped from a mountain and then the game crashed. Huh. You're talking mm-hmm. about Planetside 2. Isn't that a free-to-play like Sounds online like only online. game? Yeah. And um, I, I just I, it, it seemed like a game that I would really love to play if I had a computer that could handle it. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know what honestly even, as, even though you don't like Halo 4 to be completely honest, I don't know what first-person shooters are coming out that can even compete with that one. Well, like I, like I said, I mean, Halo 4 is objectively a good game. It's just not a Halo game. The thing is, they're only you would, you would hope they only get better at it. So the next installment in that series that comes out on Xbox One... I'm not going to play it. I don't know. My, I mean, it's gonna it should get better. I, I'm not gonna play it. I gave them a chance. <laughs> you played that. Uh, 
You play done. You watch, you watch me play. I don't know if I let you play or not. You just watched me play that uh, Spartan Assault. That was pretty good, wasn't it? It was all right. Because they didn't butcher the fucking plot line. Well, all right, well, all right, well, all right. I mean, what part of the plot line did you not like that they, they took liberties with? They fucking butchered it all, dude. Mm-hmm. The whole fact, the like, the... The fact that we call them forerunners pretty much means that they came before us, right? Okay, well, yeah, yeah. So, why was there a forerunner that was still, like, alive and talking to you and saying, oh, that dude's a forerunner and he hates humans and you need to go kill him? Actually, I didn't mind that part. That's not, I don't even know why. That's That shouldn't even be on the list of what fucked it up. You know, here's my problem. It makes sense. Here's it's my okay pro- if there's one forerunner left that's evil. It's completely okay. Well, why? Up, well, no, hang on. Why was it okay in? I mean, if you're gonna say that's a problem, why was it okay in Mass Effect for you to have a Promethean? I I never said that it was. I mean, basically, that, that's what I took issue with with Halo Four is that Halo Four basically ripped off Mass Effect. All of a sudden, there's a race bef- from before everybody else. There's no, you know, it didn't. it's the same idea. It's, oh, here's this, here's, this, really? here's this mystical race that no one ever heard of before that's trying to destroy us. No, what are you talking about? Forerunners were in Halo 1. No, I'm talking about the yeah. way that... Yeah, I, yeah, no, I know that, but I'm saying... Halo 4, what's the plot of Halo 4? I, I, oh, God, don't... Please don't make me... You, okay, you're Master Chief. Right. You get sucked into, like, you get, like, after Halo 3, you get on the other end of the universe, like, right. so far away. Right. And I think you wake up five years later. Right, and your and ship's being scanned sh- and taken, and they're and they're trying to, su- and the Covenant's trying to salvage it or whatever Covenant it is. Covenant separatists. Yeah. And then you're basically trying to get down to the planet, and then you find out it's, a like, a... Forerunner world, some kind of forerunner world. Okay. And then you go there and you try to like get beacons, like send out a, like a forerunner beacon to go contact a human ship, and then it turns out that the beacon was a pod that was keeping like one forerunner alive, and he turned out to be evil, and then he used his machines to like take over the covenant and like mind control the covenant. Uh, oh, okay, and, uh, so you don't see any parallels in that in the storyline of Mass Effect 1 and 2 or at least Mass Effect 1. You don't see any parallels there. No. Okay, really? really? Because me and Art probably do. Like uh the Reaper ship, the Reaper really. ship, the Reaper ship that uh Con- with indoctrination. that indoctrination. Yeah, the indoctrination, the Reaper ship was using mind control on oh, Saren yeah. and his people. I mean, that's all well, that's what I'm saying. I I'm not saying it's the exact same storyline, but there's a lot of parts of Halo 4 that are pretty much similar to what had been done prior to it in the Mass Effect series. I mean, you, know you couldn't come up, you couldn't come up with something people. different? No, John. Remember, you said there's no more original ideas. Well, and then that's my that's my gripe with it. Not that it's a bad game, and not that they butchered the story. Just I'm playing it, going, you know, this seems oddly familiar. Where's Tally? Ah, there she is. It's Cortana. Yeah, yeah. No shit. <laughs> you can never touch her. No. I touched her. I touched her. <laughs> oh, oh, I fucking wrecked her. <laughs> As soon as I found out I can touch that shit, I am. But no, but 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 that's the kind of stuff I'm talking about. Like as you're talking about the story, you're like, well, they go to this. He's on this planet, and it's a forerunner planet, and he finds a beacon. I'm like, okay, so both have beacons, and both have mind control, and both have an ancient evil that wants to take over everything. And And, uh, one person against the universe. Okay. Yeah. No. 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 no, Mass Effect wasn't one person. It was your. It was one person and a team of poor AI. Let's get that right. (laughs) Or AI my ass. <laughs> Non-existent AI? Alright, give me that. <laughs> so, I don't know. I don't know, but like they, they launched the PS4 in... What big name... Did they launch any big name exclu- exclusives? You said one of them, but what, was there anything else? Um, I know that... Uh, like I said, Knack. It was the, basically, the exclusives were Knack and Killzone. And uh, that's all I know right now. That's... I mean, it seems like, I mean... I'll let you know right now. Let's uh, see. PlayStation 4 launch exclusive. And, and launch title exclusives. And, oh, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying it's only a PlayStation thing. Xbox One's going to launch in two weeks or a week, and it's going to be the same thing. There's not going to be any exclu- exclusive Actually, next-gen games. Is. They're going to have way more exclusives than the uh, 
receipt for Sony did because most of the exclusives they announced for Sony aren't even out yet. See, that's my thing. If you're going to launch a new system and you have nothing to, nothing for it, other than games that are on both systems and it's, or on on PS3 and that, it's kind of like, well, what the? I, I don't know. To me, to me, you should have a couple of like big name, ready to go titles. Yeah, and it didn't Xbox seem... One's going to have Dead Rising Three and Rise and Forza. Yeah, well, there you go. And other stuff. I'm waiting. Um, I'm waiting for uh, Quantum Shift. I want to see that. I want to play that one. I guess uh, that's the one that's going for Xbox. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that looks fucking great. Oh, Uncharted is coming out for that one. Yeah, they're making a new Uncharted, but no one knows what it is because it's just some guy talking a little bit in the map, and it's an Uncharted. So it's like one of those like let's get something out there to let people know that something's happening. Is it the same guy? Is it, is it the same guy's voice? Is it Nathan Drake again? Nope, it's some oh. other guy, and he's talking about uh, talking about getting revenge or something. Probably against Nathan Drake. Ooh, we gotta get that revenge. Oh, because we ran out of plot lines. Now we gotta. Click. We love revenge. Oh my god. Someone said. Someone's like saying. Like someone's speculating. That it's not even. You're not even playing Nathan Drake, but I highly doubt that. No, if it's somebody talking about getting revenge, I wouldn't doubt that they make you play that guy. And he's out to get Nathan Drake. But instead of killing Nathan Drake because he's like you know a big franchise character, you determine that. It wasn't his fault, and you guys should work together to find out who really did it. That would be my best guess. Yeah, that sounds like something I'm playing for. That's what they're doing. Basically, uh, there's going to be a new Ninja Gaiden game called Ninja Gaiden Z, and you play uh, some oh, cyber guy going uh, after the main is it, character. Is it like the last Ninja Gaiden, Ninja Gaiden <laughs> 3? That was no. like super easy, I heard. I heard, yeah, I heard it was super easy. Compared to like the first two, which were like fucking hard. Yeah. Which I liked. I actually loved one and two. I love two. Every time I hear a name of a classic series come up as a game that's coming out, I just cringe. Because so many, so many, they they try it so many times, and so few times it works out. Yeah. Like, what was an alien? Uh, fuck, there was one that came out that was a a remake on the Wii of a game I used to play all the time, and it was hideous. I was like, oh, Alien God. Syndrome. Yes. I think it has a lot to do with what you were talking about earlier, John, because. They're trying to make like new storylines, but they have to do it under the the old titles because that's the only thing that publishers will fund. Yeah, it could be. It's like uh, like when people got so mad and people were like, "Ooh, I don't like the new Evil Dead and everything like that," and people didn't realize that it wasn't even a <laughs> reboot; it was actually a sequel. Which one? Which Resident Evil? The new one. Oh, you Evil Dead. Evil oh, Dead. Yeah. It's a sequel. It's not a reboot. No, if you ask, if you, if I've seen interviews with Raimi and uh, Bruce Campbell, they both say it's a reboot. They say it's a sequel. I mean, uh, people said it's a sequel. I, I was, I've read many things that said it was a reboot. Hmm. I heard it was like what they're doing. It's, I guess you can say it's a reboot, but I heard because there doing were a lot of scenes. Really... There were a lot of scenes that were similar to the original too. Like there's somebody getting raped by a tree in both of them, I believe. Yeah. I was told that the new. I was told. Awesome. I, I had a buddy of mine, Joe. He text messaged me the day after he saw it. He's like, "Go see, Res- go see Evil Dead. Quit your job. Go see it now." Because he's a big horror fan, and he said that movie was fucking great. I, I haven't like seen it. I, I still haven't seen it, and I was people who <coughs> people who complained about it. I don't think were really cared about the original. Honestly, I don't think they. I think that's why they thought they did, and they liked it just for the sake of it being all old and campy. Yeah. Just and that's and they don't. That's it. That's all. Well, this this, this is the movie that they wanted to make if they had the money. Yes. And I think that might have been what was said before that people think you know, make people think it's a sequel instead. But no, it it because even Resident even Resident Evil even Evil Dead Two felt like a somewhat remake of the first one. Like if you watch it, it's it's less no, people it in it. Remake of the first one. Not according not according to Sam Raimi and uh and the people in it. They said That's it's a really sequel. Weird. Because Bruce Campbell, Bruce Campbell's been saying. Bruce Campbell was asked about that, resident about Evil Dead too many times, and he always says no, it's a sequel. That doesn't make any sense. Why would he go back and do the same damn thing again? I know. I, well, I know. I don't think they're. I don't think they're sure. I don't think they're sure, <laughs> they're sure on the new one either. Because from what I heard, is they're going to make an Evil Dead two. And then they're going to make Army of Darkness too, and it's going to be the character from Evil Dead, the new one, and uh, Bruce Campbell together. Let's see. I know Bruce Campbell's attached to Army of Darkness too. I don't know in what capacity. Oh, he better be in it. No, he's supposed to be in it, but I don't know how much he's in it. I don't. You know what I mean? 
he better be the main character or I'm gonna come after him. I don't know. Army of Darkness, as campy as it is, is fucking great. Remember, remember, boys and girls, when you're looking for video games, shop, shop smart. Shop S-smart. S-smart. I don't think Art ever saw those movies. Yeah, I did. I saw it, but I mean, um, Army of Darkness 2? I don't know. I don't think I saw one completely, but I know there I saw Part There is no Army of Darkness 2. So. Which was the one where he goes back in time? That's Evil Dead 3, Army of Darkness. Okay, then that's the one I saw. That's the least horror of all... That's the least horror movie of all three of them. Dude, he was awesome in that one. Oh, he was. Those don't want to be medieval screwheads. <laughs> this is a shotgun. No, no, no this, this is my, is my boomstick. boomstick. It's, oh a win- my it's a it's a Remington yes, model, whatever. You can find it in aisle nine at your local S-Mart. It retails for ninety nine ninety nine or whatever. He goes through the whole spiel. Oh, I love that. Now, I when you that go flick. and you take the book, you have to say these words exactly. <laughs> he forgets. Exactly? Yes, exactly. I like how he's like, so we're cool. All right. <laughs> or he's like looking around like, uh, okay. <laughs> shudder, shudder, shudder. Did you say him exactly? Yeah. <laughs> More or less. <laughs> Why didn't you just write it down? <laughs> Hun- honey, you got real ugly real fast. <laughs> You used to find me beautiful once. Honey, you got real ugly real fast. Uh, that movie's great. Anyways, I think that's it for this episode, because otherwise we're just going to rehash movies that came out years ago again. But what about Metal Gear Solid Five Ground Zeroes, coming out during the spring? And... Yeah, but it's coming out during the spring. We don't know anything about it. No, it's, uh, they're, what they're doing is, is they're separating Metal Gear Solid Five Phantom Pain, and they're releasing the prologue, Metal Gear Solid Ground Zeroes, for twenty bucks for Xbox 360 and PS3, and then thirty bucks for the next gen. Huh. Ooh. And then they're still working on Phantom Pain. Because how G- Hideo Kojima can do whatever he wants. Because he is alive. awesome. Because he's a god, and I praise praise the Lord. And he's Kojima. still alive. Yeah. When he dies, the gaming community will 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 shudder. I won't. Whatever, I will. But people that matter will. Yeah. Oh, damn. Good one, Dave. High five. You, you, you understand whose podcast this is, right? Ours full, <laughs> duh. Not just yours. It's the people's podcast. Yeah. Oh, there's only one of us that has control over the record button. Well, that is true. You can <laughs> that's why all of this will be... Again. You, you guys are going to listen to this, and it's just going to cut there, and you're going to hear, oh, I guess Skype must have went out. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Because you have power. <laughs> yeah, uh, too bad. I, they say once you get the power, you get the money. It doesn't. I, I'm still waiting First for that. I'm still waiting power. for that one. Then come the bitches. No, I'm still waiting for the money part. It hasn't happened yet. Anyways, that was episode three of from Gamers with Love. <laughs> Otherwise known as our movie episode, apparently. Uh, yeah, it's classic. Hopefully, you had a good time. You, I don't know. Art take over. Probably not. Send us email, uh, something, uh, Facebook post. Now, Dave. I now, D- D- Dave, go. You can find me on Match. dot com. <laughs> <laughs> now, Talon. <laughs> Adultfriendfinder. dot com. I don't know if Talon's even here anymore. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, fuck these idiots. He's sending oh. hate mail to fucking uh, to us. Bungie. Why did you fucking give up, you assholes? He's sending hate mail to us. From, <laughs> he's sending hate mail from uh, to us from love bungie at gmail dot com. <laughs> so it says, <laughs> it says not Talon, <laughs> <laughs> not Talon from not Texas, from not Texas, not, not Talon sixty nine at <laughs> not nighthogzetta dot com. <laughs> Uh, so if you find Dave on Match. dot com, uh, if you want if you want his deets, email us. Uh, yeah. you, can fi- you can find you can find my Halo records online somewhere. Mine too. Yeah, mine too. I still have the place where we where me and Talon met for the first time. I think. Aww. Aww. It was a good time. Good time. <laughs> does 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 it occur? To, does, do you realize that he was like how young he was when we 14. met? Fourteen. He was like yeah. fourteen. 13. Didn't you meet on Halo Two? Yeah, yeah. we met on yeah. Halo Two. That yeah, was Halo Two. And it's how do you do that? Because there was like no party systems or anything like that back then. The, no, Art, there was Art, a, well, no, no. Art would cru- Art, Art would cruise the internet looking for little boys. And... Yeah, I, I asked for his age, sex, and location. <laughs> um, and and uh, ta- he said he wears a little cowboy hat. I shit you not. When Talon told me he was from Texas, I always pictured him with a fucking cowboy hat. What like the look, whole like, time? What like <laughs> like Woody from Toy Story? Yeah, kind of like that. 
<laughs> like every time you would talk, I'm like, I just imagine him with a little hat. <laughs> Funny how the Mexican is the most racist one on the show. I know, I'm bad. <laughs> anyway, so. Uh, Halo 2 was good days. It was. It was Halo was 3 good. was good days. Halo 3 was Halo good days. Halo was good days. Halo, <laughs> Halo Reach was good days. Yeah. That's kind of where it ended. <laughs> and then that stopped. We put all our eggs in fucking Halo 4 and nothing hatched. No, I don't even know. I, I don't even know if my Xbox Live subscription is still active right now. No, mine's done. Mine's has been done for months. Well, oh, I got, I got, no, guys. I got, I got some free time because they switched it from, uh, they got rid of the family plan, so whatever was left on it, they comped us like three months or something. Oh, they got rid of the family plan. Then? Yeah, they changed. Well, because now you can have one account and have like four people use it or something. Shut up. That's awesome. Yeah, didn't you pay attention to the E3? No, why would anybody? Why would anybody other than me watch the E3 coverage? I watched E3. See? Then you should have been on the podcast earlier. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna shuffle I'm gonna shuffle art further back on that picture. <laughs> I'll shoot you to the shoddy. background. My shoddy will get you. Alright. Anyways, that was episode three. Again. Again. For the third <laughs> time. Signing off. Later bitches. See ya. <laughs>